Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about seeing light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm here in my bedroom, which is pretty much done. And if you've been with me on this journey since my mom passed, or since before, whenever you join me, you know that I have been knocking myself out, working 12 hours a day to clean the house out, get stuff done that needs to be done. And I've I knew for so long that I just needed to get the bedroom done so that I could have a sanctuary to just relax and kind of collapse hi, boo -boo, and recuperate a little bit from this. And so that has always been my priority. I, I told them uh, for a long time, like, okay, as soon as mom passes and we have to take care of stuff, but I need you all here to help me clean out this room, take what you want so I can just make it my own and have a space and it's pretty much done and I love it I feel like I'm in a luxurious hotel and there's part of me that feels a little guilty about being happy since mom is gone but as I've said before my dad especially would always say you know I want you to move in here when we're done and do whatever you want with the house so I'm doing it daddy thank you <laughs> and and I feel my parents here which is nice I mean it this room could not be more different than it was when they were here. But it's everything I ever wanted. I have been visualizing what I wanted for years. I've been accumulating things here and there. I've been saving websites for items that I knew that I wanted. And fortunately, I hit a lot of Memorial Day sales. So <laughs> I've been able to do what I wanted for a surprisingly low amount of money, except for the carpet. The carpet, can you see my pink carpet? I've been wanting pink carpet for so long. My Auntie Mame inspired pink bedroom carpet. And it was expensive, but it was worth it. Because I wanted it and I deserve it, damn it. And it's so pretty and it's so comfortable and luxurious. And I think Boo Boo likes it too. I wish you could see him. He's leaning against my leg right now. I think he really likes this room. The cats are a little confused. Like, what's going on? Everything's changing. But my point of sharing this with you is because you've been on this journey with me and I appreciate it, but also because if you're going through something like losing a loved one and having to take care of all the stuff that needs to be taken care of, my suggestion to you is to have something in mind that you know will give you comfort and peace. For me, it was making over this room and making it my own so that I would have this space to, to just come and relax and take care of myself and grieve if I wanted to. Uh, but when you have that thing that you know is going to be the catalyst for you being able to breathe and relax a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> Boo-Boo's rubbing up against the table, sorry. Uh, once you have it, then you can finally relax a little bit. It would be great if you could just relax anyway but sometimes when there's so much to do, if you just have that one thing like, okay, if I can get to this one place, if I can get this thing done, then I can relax a little bit. And that's just how I am. I like to be busy. I like to work. I like to get things done. I'm very impatient. I want it done yesterday. So I've been wearing my husband rag. <laughs> He's been helping me with all of this stuff. But I know myself and I knew that once this was done, I'd be able to finally slow, not stop, but slow down <laughs> and decompress a little bit. And last night was the first night I spent in here and I felt like I was in a luxurious hotel that had been decorated just for me. So it was, it was really a wonderful feeling and I slept really well, which was really nice. And uh, it's just finally allowing me to, um, to slow down a little bit, which is great. So if you're going through something it doesn't have to be the loss of a loved one. It can be maybe you moved and maybe you're having a hard time getting unpacked, getting settled. Maybe pick one room that when this room is done, I can relax a little bit and I can feel better about all the other stuff that still needs to be done. And probably your bedroom is the best place because that's where you're going to sleep and rest and restore and and relax. Uh, whenever I've moved in the past, I had to be unpacked and looked lived in by that night. So you can imagine how it's making me a little crazy to be in all this upheaval. Uh, I'm still working on the living room and the dining room, but almost done. But this was my priority. 
And that all I can keep thinking of is there's light at the end of the tunnel and Frank Sinatra song. I'm beginning to see the light keeps going through my head too, <laughs> but it just feels like, ah. so I am so happy and I'm so relaxed and I feel like I've really accomplished something. And when you have that feeling, I think you can pause and appreciate that accomplishment and regroup a little bit and get a little bit of rest and refresh before you go out and start working on the next goal, the next accomplishment. And, and that could be your career as well. Like I said, it doesn't have to be what I'm going through. But when you can have one little thing that when it's done, you're like, okay, yes, I'm making progress and I can feel good about it. It really makes all the difference. And you can kind of take things in baby steps. Like you made this accomplishment, rest and appreciate it. Move on to the next accomplishment. When you've done that, rest and appreciate it. And then keep doing that throughout your life. You can take baby steps until you've accomplished everything. And then you're always going to have new things that you want to accomplish, which makes life interesting. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to always be creating new and more. So whatever you want, when you finally get it, that's not going to be the end of your wanting. And that's okay. That's what keeps us going in life. You know, we accomplish something, but appreciate it when you do accomplish it. And then move on and know that there's always going to be something new. And even if there's a big, huge thing that you're like, when I accomplish this, my life is complete. No, it's not. Because if it's complete, then you might as well die. <laughs> we don't die until our lives are complete and we're done creating. So I don't think you want to be done creating yet. So always have something new that you are moving towards, that you're wanting to accomplish or attract or create or enjoy. And your life will always be fulfilling. And you can just enjoy one accomplishment at a time. And right now, this is fun. So thank you for being here with me because I'm just finally feeling a little more rested and a little more energetic. And ironically, you know, I've been talking so much about, I'm so tired, so much to do. And, you know, last week I was really, really tired. But what's funny is I had to wait till the carpet was installed before I could finish the room. And it took about two weeks. So, of course, I was working on other stuff. But I couldn't move any furniture in here until the carpet was here. So once the carpet was in, then I moved everything in. And I told my husband, I'm probably going to be up till 3 in the morning getting things or or organized. And I was very tired. And the whole day, I kind of felt like, oh, my God, I'm going to pass out. I'm so tired. And I dragged him to Ikea because I needed a few things. But I stayed up till not 3 in the morning, but 2.45, close enough. But I felt so good. I felt such an accomplishment. I was just moving stuff in here, moving my clothes, moving my shoes, organizing stuff, figuring out where I wanted it, moving all my bathroom stuff into the bathroom. So uh, even though I worked myself so hard, once it was done, I just felt like, oh, you know, the angels were singing and I felt really good. I didn't feel as tired as I have been in the past because of that sense of accomplishment. Even though it wasn't a big deal, it is to me. And so I'm so happy. And you know, it's funny. And I finally realized during this process in the last week or so, you know, I, I've said several times that I haven't really had this big cry. You know, I've had, sometimes it hits me, but I feel my parents with me so much. And I had so much quality time with my mom for 15 years. And, you know, then really a lot of quality time caring for her all day, every day for the past decade or so. I don't really have any regrets. She had a really good life. She was healthy and happy. She was comfortable. She wasn't in pain. And she had enjoyable days all the way up until the end. So I don't have any regrets. There's no sadness there. There wasn't anything. Oh, hi, boo boo. I had to teach him to jump on that and then jump on the bed because this new bed is really high. My husband calls it the princess in the pee bed. <laughs> Boo-boo tried climbing up on it the other day without using the bench. And he was like, oh, clogged on the side, like, I'm stuck. So I had to kind of boost him up. So I had to teach him, like, bench, jump on the bench first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> but Boo-boo's enjoying it a lot. But anyway, I, you know, I feel my mom here. And I know that my parents are watching over me and that they would want me to do this and be comfortable and happy after giving up so much of my life to take care of my mom, or I didn't have my own home. I didn't have my own master bedroom. I've been living in the, uh, the bedroom that I grew up in <laughs> for, for 15 years. So 
I feel good about it. And <clears throat> when I do have crying spells, it's usually because of something profound or meaningful that has touched me. You know, either my mom is showing up as a butterfly or I'm getting some kind of um, sign from her, which I'm going to be talking about later, you know, maybe a song or, you know, or my dad is sending a message. It just now I've got both of them making their presence known, which is really great. And it makes me cry tears of joy. And of course I miss my mom. I miss her physically and I miss her just being here and being my mom. But the mom I knew I hadn't had around for a really long time. So now I'm not feeling too bad about not having the big crying spell, but I, I still might, you know, I know I'll have my moments going forward, but for now, in this moment, I'm just enjoying my new bedroom. So I just want to share that with you. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So be on the lookout for that. And if there's one little thing that you know you can do to assure yourself that there is light at the end of the tunnel and get yourself a little bit farther so you can see that speck of light, do that one thing. And it will help you on this path. If it's a very long path and maybe you're anticipating it's going to be difficult, I would suggest uh, affirming it's going to be easy or that you're going to be able to handle it just fine instead of expecting things to be difficult. But there are challenges and you can approach them with a different attitude. And I think that attitude of looking for the thing that is going to give you some peace is going to help you on that path. And then you'll have the strength to move forward on the next phase. So that's what I've been doing. I hope that helps you. As always, thank you for joining me and being here on this journey. I hope you're finding some value in what I'm sharing with you. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend because I'm going to have a great weekend in my bedroom. Ah! So um, as always, if you enjoy these videos, remember to subscribe. If you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannermarshall.com, and I will send them to you with a special little note that only goes out to my list. And other than that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. Look for the light at the end of the tunnel because it is there. And just take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.